We are looking at figure 11.3 on page 215 of your textbook. So we assume always that everybody has the same marginal abatement cost. Um, we assume this because it makes it simpler to Im implement policies. However, in the real world, people have um, different marginal abatement costs. So let's look at example. In the vertical axis, I'm going to write cost. We'll zero at the origin, and on the horizontal axis, I'm going to write emissions. Now, there might be a company with a very low marginal abatement cost. Um, because they have very good technology, it's quite cheap for them to reduce uh, pollution from the maximum amount towards zero. On the other hand, we can also have a company that has a higher marginal abatement cost. Um, they might have all the technology and it's more expensive for them to reduce emissions from the maximum amount. Towards, uh, towards zero. So what we can see here is for company one to reduce from the maximum amount to let's say an amount called um, E1 has a cost of C1. For the other company to reduce the same amount has a much higher cost of C2. So due to technology, it means that marginal abatement costs differ among different companies. Uh, this could be a wide range of reasons. The most obvious is obviously technology. Um, now this causes a problem for the eco-marginal principle because the eco-marginal principle says if you want to reduce pollution at the lowest cost then the marginal abatement cost uh, for all companies, so that means for one and two, has to be the same. So if my efficient level of emissions is over here, it means the companies will not pay the same marginal abatement cost. Uh, company 2 would pay a much higher marginal abatement cost than company 1. We see that C2 is larger than C1. Um, so this, this causes problems for the equal marginal principle. However, we mostly assume that the mar um, marginal abatement cost is equal amongst firms because we simplify the real world in order to to make models and make assumptions that that can be uh, used for policies. So you do not really have to be able to draw this. Uh, this only shows that the real world is sometimes much more complex um, and we might ask you to draw this together with a marginal damage curve, but we won't ask you to only draw two different marginal abatement cost curves. However, you should understand what this graph tries to tell you.